This is crazy. This is crazy. I seen the announcement for Chrome 23. I do what I want card. The trailer dropped. I watched the majority of the trailer, then turned it off. I didn't watch the whole trailer. Like, bruh, bruh, Remy, you're cheating. You're cheating. You got to make up your mind. What you want us to watch, the trailer or you? I don't know what you're even doing at this point. Did y'all see her at the get? Anyway, shout to Papoose. The not to dream a dream, huh? That's why I hear you, bro. I'll pump the gas. I'll, I'll pay for it, too. Nah, let me stop. Shout to the whole AFM. What are we doing? What are we doing? I do what I want. Chrome 23, the full trailer is out. The full trailer is out. The main event. You got Geechee Gotti. You got Easy to Block, Captain. Who y'all got winning? I'm going to be honest with you, man. I'm only saying Easy for the simple fact that he's been on this crazy run ever since he's been here. Let's be serious. You know what I'm saying? However, however, I know for a fact there is a chance Easy can win this. Let's be serious here, bro. Easy is killing everybody in his path, if you ask me, man. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. And he's precisely killing people. He's the, like, oh, man. He's on the same run, I feel like, that Geechee was on when he started getting crazy. It's almost identical to me. They both talk crazy. They both are direct. They both be punching. You don't like, like, I like him. I like both they styles. So it's really a toss up, but you know how I do. When I pick my picks, I usually go with the vets. I feel like one has to prove they can beat the other. I feel like this. Geechee didn't battle all his way. And now it's like, okay, I'm going to battle Easy. I feel like Easy battled his way up to the point where he can battle Geechee. Because Geechee's level is up here. Easy went like this and rose to Geechee's level, in my opinion. So that's the reason, that's the overall reason why I'm going with Geechee, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like Geechee, plus, Geechee has wordplay. Geechee is funny. However, I feel like, I feel like when Easy talk to you, it be different. It hit harder, I feel like. Maybe a little bit harder. Maybe a little bit harder. When he lands something, it lands. You know what I'm saying? So, all in all, that's just going to be a fire battle. I mean, honestly, I feel like it's going to be battle of the year probably, man. Two superstars from that status. Matter of fact, I can't say that. I can't say that. Because I don't know the homecoming battle yet. I can't say that. You know what I'm saying? Yet. Because I don't know if that's going to be Briz or not. Now, if that's going to be Briz, and it's going to be Briz and Mook, then whoa, I don't know. Because I don't know how their conversation is going to be. But as of right now, I'm looking at it like this battle right here, Easy and Geechee, is probably going to be battle of the year, man. I don't see two other people who can talk like talk on that type of level that I, that I want to hear. You know what I'm saying? So I got Geechee to the one just on the strength for that. But I'm pretty sure Easy, Easy has a very good chance of winning. You know what I'm saying? I, I'll say it like that, man. C3 versus First Lady Flames. Oh, my God. And this is the reason why I like what Remy's doing, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Remy came in the battle rap. Chrome 23 said she wanted to do something for the females. Started adding guys on there. And what she really did is she's actually forcing. Because a lot of people who like battle rap. Yes, it's a battle rap culture. But a lot of them like the males. Not so much the females. Now, I'm only going by... By fan bases and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fan of the females, so I'm not talking myself, honestly. But there are a lot of people who don't watch female battle rap. So it's smart what she's doing. Booking the top battles for the males, high-profile battles for the males, and then throwing dope female battles on there. Now, the guys who don't really watch, particularly watch female battle rap, they're going to be more interested in female battle rap now. And this is going to be one of the battles they're going to like. You know what I'm saying? C3 and First Lady Flames. Let's keep it real. Let's keep C3. Super vet. She been outside. She been battling guys. She been traveling. She punches. She jokes. She angles. She schemes. What does she not do? She entertains. Let's keep it real. C3 actually does it all. She's like a pot of battle rap gumbo in all reality, bro. She is. You don't know what angle she going to come with. You don't know what angle she... You don't. You, don't, you never know. And she, anybody who can rebuttal and freestyle is dangerous. I keep saying that. Because now they have the ability to take your hardest line and flip that right there on the spot. That, uh, that immediately lowers what you just said just because they flipped it. You know what I'm saying? Now less people going to look at what you said... 
and they and they're gonna be more inclined to look at it like, yo, how they flip it like that on the spot. For those who don't battle rap and don't know how to freestyle, they gonna we're gonna think that's so amazing. You know what I'm saying? C3 does it all. And then you got First Lady Flames, man. Listen, First Lady Flames, she probably the one who lit the gas station on fire in the trailer. She's crazy. She's nice with it. Like, let me tell you something, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. I know I'll be saying, yo, girls could battle guys. I see First Lady Flames really in here battling these dudes, bro. The girl's cool. I see her battling these dudes, though. She, the way she talk is totally different. Totally different. You could, man. She's like a fresher breath there for females in terms of street battle rap. You know what I'm saying? It's not just, it's not just a bunch of punches. It's not just a bunch of slander. It's not just a bunch of that. She's really like bringing it to you hard body, like directly. Like, don't look like she's ducking no kind of smoke. I think she's super fire. It's crazy, man. I remember when I first met her years ago. It was her and Jack Boy at an event in Virginia. And it was like, oh, and Jack Boy, uh, we was talking. Then he was like, yeah, this is First Lady Flames, and she battle rap too. I knew nothing about them. Well, I think I knew a little bit about Jack Boy. I didn't know nothing about First Lady Flames. So to see her here at this level, and that was like seven, eight years ago. To see her here at this level now is literally amazing, bro. Because she's going to be one of the top female battle rappers if she keeps battling. I'm telling you now, with, the, with a gritty style like that, a lot of you females are in trouble if y'all stand in front of First Lady Flames. But let's get back to this battle. The question is who wins. Once again, this is one of them battles. I'm going with the vet. They're vets for a reason. They're not scared of nothing. They're vets for a reason. And let's be serious. C3 just won the tournament. She just won the tournament. So why would I go against her? I got C3 2 to 1, man. I got C3 2 to 1. I think First Lady Flynn's going to bring it. Still rocking with C3, man. I got to rock with the vets on this one, man. Oh, now listen. I don't know where this battle came from. Shayna Ashley versus Rosenberg Raw. What? Listen, bro. Listen, bro. I got to see this. I got to see this. I honestly believe Shayna Ashley has the ability. Very, She very well has the ability to beat Rosenberg Raw. She does. And this is nothing against Raw because Raw is fire. Raw has been stepping it up. I think one of the smartest moves for Rosenberg Raw was to leave URL and go to RBE because it instantly made him a top priority over there. You see what I'm saying? Whereas with URL, who knows what would have happened over there. But he went over there and became a top priority. So I actually think that was smart, and he's getting better. And if you really pay attention, he's adding bars. Before it was just, you know, I'll do this to you, I'll do that to you. Now it's like he's adding bars. He's adding punches in there. I'm definitely paying attention to Rosenberg Raw. You know what I'm saying? I think that's dope. I really think that's dope right there. Now, I'm interested to see what's going to happen with the Mike P battle. I'm interested to see what's going to happen with the Mike P battle. Don't start booking y'all battles too close. I'm just saying, y'all want great performances. And Rosenberg Roar, I got to keep it real. Shayna Ashley fired. She been on her job. She's been fired from the jump. Her only issue was she had a, she used to choke here and there. I think, if anything, that held her back. Plus, she doesn't battle too often. Don't let that Toby Doe crap fool you. You know, if you really paid attention to her bars... Tori was in trouble anyway. That could have been the one of the reasons why she said time for all I know. She might have been like, oh, all right. I can't beat that. Let me say, I don't know. I don't know. But one thing I do know is Shayna Ashley gets busy. Her bars are gritty. She punches. She she uses personal. She's straightforward. Man, listen, she throw her weight around. She don't play no games when she get in that ring. So I want to see this. I don't care what y'all told me. I don't care if y'all like it or not. I like this battle. Rosenberg Raw, you smart. Don't think I ain't see what you're doing. I see you. I see you. I see you. You battling. You got cool and easy. I probably been cool. I don't know, but y'all y'all cool now. You're doing the podcast with them. Dope podcast. Shout out to y'all. I like your podcast. Uh uh. Now you got a YouTube channel. Rosenberg Raw is blogging now. I think it's uh Frozenberg TV. He's blogging. You're on the trenches card. Now you're on Chrome 23. Smart man. I see the moves you're making. Very smart. Take advantage. Take advantage. Take advantage. That's dope. That's dope. I'd like to see this. As far as who's going to win this. As far as who's going to win this. 
What am I talking about? I just thought about that. And we in, matter of fact, I'm hearing it's not even in Philly no more. Now I'm hearing it's in Camden, New Jersey. Don't quote me, but that's what I'm hearing now. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I, I got Shayna Ashley, man. I got some, I'm sorry, man. I got Shayna Ashley. I got Shayna. Shayna's too dope. And I seen, she said she's not losing no more battles. She's not playing. The way she talking, the way she talking in that trailer. Bro, and you got to worry about Mike P. I got Shayna Ashley. I got Shayna Ashley two to one. And then, and then you got the rematch. They already had a classic one round on Battle Rap Committee. You got A Ward. Yes, A Ward is back. A Ward is back versus Charlie Clips. Now, if y'all didn't see the first battle, the one rounder, it was a classic one rounder, bro. Y'all got to go watch it if y'all didn't see it yet, bro. Here's the thing, though. A Ward, you know, you got verb two weeks before that. I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, you have A verb two weeks prior to Charlie Clips. You know? You seen what Big K did to you. Luckily for you, you got that Vixen battle. You got that Vixen battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you got to... I'm just watching how you book your battles because I'm going to tell you something. It looked like you're going on a slide in a sense, man. It does. And the verb gets you out of here. And then clips, you got to look at how people going to be looking at you, bro. So you really have to bring it versus Charlie Clips. Now, a Boy always brings it. But the, he got two legends back to back within two weeks. I got to see how it's going to work. Because you got to look at it. You got the big K battle. You got, you clearly lost that battle. I don't think you was terrible, but you clearly lost that battle. Vixen battle saved you. You just lost the frack. If you lose, you can't lose the verb and Charlie Clips, bro. You're going to be on the streak, the losing streak. Like, I, bro, I'm just saying. Because the big K battle looked bad. You didn't do bad. But the results looked bad on camera. I remember watching it looked very bad for you. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to have to turn it up. And then you got Charlie Clips. Let's keep it a buck, bro. Charlie Clips has pretty much mastered battle rap, in my opinion. He has mastered showing up to these battles and doing what he got to do to the point that they're at least debatable, even if he's not trying. even Or, or if it looks like he's not trying. Let me say it like that. I don't think he's going to get up there and play games with him. I don't think none of these vets at any point at this point are going to just show up and be like, ah, whatever for a check. I don't see that, especially being on Remy's League. I don't see that. Maybe if it's somebody they never heard of before, maybe, but not on Chrome 23. I don't see it. So I really think Charlie Clips is going to bring it. And because they already had the first battle, it's just like they know what they up against. You see what I'm saying? So I got, uh, damn, you got, I got Charlie Clips 2 to 1. I got Charlie two Clips 2 to 1. I'm sorry, uh, A Ward. I don't know what you're going to do with this verb battle. I really don't. Because I feel like that's a... Both of y'all have to win that battle. I feel like Verb promoted so much, there's no way he can lose that battle. But at the same time, I feel like if you lose to Verb, man, you're, you're going to be looking kind of crazy. That's You lost three out of your last four. And then you got an opponent who... no Charlie Clips. You got to think about a debatable battle, right? If the battle's debatable, and you know Charlie Clips' fan base is way bigger than A-Ward's fan base, the majority of people going to say Charlie Clips won. Even if, even if A Ward feel like he won, people who's gonna rock with Clips is still gonna say he lost. So I don't really feel like A Ward is in position to lose to Verb. Verb is the key to me. It ain't Clips. It's the Verb battle, which is two weeks prior. If you beat Verb, or you could be like, all right, cool, da da da. Now I got Clips. You make it the baby, whatever. But if you lose to him. That's going to be different for you, man. I ain't going to front. That's going to be different, man. So let me know which I, who y'all got winning. I got uh, Charlie Clips 2-1. to one. Easy versus Geechee. Geechee 2-1. C3 versus Flame. C3 2-1. Shayna Ashley versus Rosenberg Raw. I got Shayna Ashley 2-1. And A-Ward versus Charlie Clips. I got Clips 2-1. AFM the... F Holla at me, man. 1.